Any views, thoughts, and opinions expressed by the journalists and guests are solely that of the journalists and guests and do not reflect the views, opinion, policies, or positions of Positive Lifestyle Management, LLC. <music>
would turn on him. There is a, a new, there's this rapper named Lil Durk. Mm -hmm. His father spent 26 years in prison because he would not turn on Larry Hoover. That's the type of um, power he had. We got that clip. And you give us Larry Hoover, we put you back on 26 and you'll work for us. I went in my pocket, pulled out a card to my lawyer, slid it on the table and said, call my lawyer. And from then on, 26 years later, here I am, free man, without telling, without compromising, without being someone I'm not, rats, stew pigeons, you know, people who tell things to get out, you know, this is the type of life, we don't live this type of life. You know, I'm a Muslim first and foremost, no doubt about it, but even in Islam, we don't believe in telling, we don't believe in rats, we don't believe in student pigeons. So, for someone to try to tell you to tell on somebody else to save your own neck and all this, you get in this thing, you hold your own weight. And I hold my own weight. You don't bring nobody else into this. You don't tell them nobody else to save your own skin. Get out of it. That's not your lifestyle. That's not what you're about. Get up out of it. You know? But when the thing hits, when it hit, the impact come in, you continue to stand strong. And you continue to go down for what you believe in. And don't bring nobody else down with you. You know, I like the love. I think it's a... Now, we hear what the brother uh, Mr. Dante Banks said about take your own weight take your weight if you get involved in something you take your weight you don't include somebody else in some okay and I'm gonna say this here if all three of us brother JC brother Blaylin myself we all get into something we all end in this equally we end it together I get caught. They trying to get brother JC. They trying to get brother Blaylin. I am equally 33 and a third percent involved in this here. You 33 and a third, brother Blaylin 33 and a third. We all have equal portions in this here. I get caught. Why should I tell on you, brother Blaylin and brother JC? That's my responsibility. I carry my own weight. You know, not to go tell on somebody else. So how do y'all feel about that? I agree 100%. It's called, I mean, in, in layman terms, it's called personal responsibility for your own actions. Why have to involve the next man in something I did? Well, if I was able, even they got lucky or I was careless enough to get caught, either lucky or just, or maybe that's how the cards fell. That's how it is. It's what I did, regardless if I was involved with someone or not. It's what I did. So I was raised, you don't tell your friends, you don't tell your enemies. You just carry your own weight and, you know, get out of there the best way you can without telling on the next person. Leave it to the lawyer at that point. Sometimes you have to lay down for a while. Sometimes you walk away. But those are cards that are dealt when you're doing something you're not supposed to do in the first place. But you don't have to tell him the next man get the other man in trouble, destroy his family for some for that rest situation. You take all the weight on your own. And how you feel about that, brother Blaylin? That's one hundred percent accurate. It's amazing that with that context itself, we often put that in a in a criminal aspect, right? Of not telling. But the government, the code of, I mean, I mean the U.S. government has the same code of honor, right? That's the universal law, period, no matter what lifestyle you're in. Exactly. You know, I think a lot of people have forgotten that universal law applies everywhere to everything. So because you've been... Go ahead. So by you mentioning the uh, United States government, if a soldier get caught, right? Uh-huh. Or an American citizen get caught and they wind up in another country and they doing something, what the... Uh, 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 the government has said you get them your, your your little tag, your little dog tag, okay. and that's it, and, and don't say nothing else. Exactly. So Man, the government right, the serial number is on your dog tag. That's it. So nothing else. Don't give up no more information. Don't say nothing else. 
so now it works that way for the government but now what you're trying to do is say okay don't let it work this way both ways it got to go both ways man the government can't want you to uh for me to bring down brother Baden and jc but at the same time if i'm working for the government give him your your ring give him the dog tag and just be quiet it don't work that way but here's the here's the most important part that i look at here's a man mr larry hoover he's admitted that he was involved in criminality he served almost 50 years in prison Mm -hmm. this this is actually his 49th year he got locked up in 1973 almost 50 years in prison the average person that goes to prison in the state of illinois for a murder just said for a murder you're gonna do anywhere where between 10 to 20 years and you'll be out sometimes you might do a little longer 25 years and you back out on the street mr hoover has not only done that amount of time he's doubled that time the man is sitting in ADX Florence, Colorado, isolated for drugs. Drugs now. This is, he ain't got no terrorists. He's not a terrorist. He ain't escaped from nowhere. He ain't done none of this here. All he's doing, he's sitting in ADX Florence, Colorado for the last 25, almost 26 years for drugs how do we allow the american government how do we allow them to just keep a person in prison that long i feel it's a crime against humanity and i'm not saying that in an exaggerated form i'm being very precise when they do that i honestly feel they're persecuting him because of his ability to organize for the positive direction they're not doing it for the negative when someone said I can I can get people to vote for one common cause, when I can educate people, get them economically sound, politically sound, help them socially develop, we have to stop that because we can alter the powers that be, and that's both sides of angles, conservative and liberals. We can alter that and form a co a common cause that can help our people make, make make it where we need to be. And I think that's why they did what they did. It wasn't about him sell drugs or anything like that in essence that's a conviction but that's petty to them that happens all the time the running mill person been busted for that it's about his views and also when he was convicted of his crime i believe in 73 yes. i think they should judge people and i'm um, based on the time that time they were convicted that's like you pointed out that time they did 10 20 years for that type of situation however now they want to make something totally different and it's not a drug conviction and murder conviction he's in the ADX for. And I want to touch on the video when we talked about the ADX. He said, maybe we can help, he can help the people outside or inside prison. It's impossible for him to help anyone if he's in the ADX. People need to understand that. The type of lockdown that is, a lot of people feel that jail within itself is a crime against humanity. It's a dungeon. He, he cannot help anyone. He has no communication to say anything. Be, and the, and out, his goal right now is to be around his family and his children. And if he wants to help people, which he can because he's powerful, in that way for the positive, you have to let him out to do that. You just can't keep him beyond the wall. And exactly. AD, he can't yes. do anything. Because outside of him talking to Bobby Rush and telling kids don't do it, they haven't let him sit, do anything. anything. And so, But here's the thing now. They see that they have him isolated. Yes. And they got him isolated, but everything that they know and, and they know he's not sending no words he did nothing he ain't told them that he's no longer a part of anything he's not with nobody he just want to go home to his family but everything that happens on the street they blame him how can you blame a person when you saying that the man don't have no type of communications no access to nobody but what somebody else is doing out here he's getting the blame for it that's just like uh you don't blame the entire united states police department for something that a rogue officer do does does it right you know what I'm saying the first thing they're gonna say is, this is a rogue officer don't fault everybody for this here uh we got a uh one of the one of the networkers said he was the ged teacher at stateville okay see i was in stateville with him back in 1986 
you know so and he don't he's not an imposing figure people's looking at him like he this imposing figure or something i didn't even know who he was because i had never seen him that's how quiet and 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 and, and down to earth that the, the man is so we got to be careful on what's going on and we got to speak out because this is a crime against humanity just like you said because just say where they got the brother jeff ford mm -hmm. they got the they got the brother matula shakur you got mm -hmm. all these people that's locked up like that man and so when are we going to start speaking up you know to help free men and women that's been locked up longer than they should in united states prison industrial system when our voices has to be just as loud as Ron Schaefer's and everybody else that's speaking out against Mr. Hoover.